This is the long-awaited tutorial for the Human Generator Ultimate Add-on for Blender. This has been my favorite Blender add-on for adding realistic humans to a Blender scene. It's a paid add-on that you can get by clicking in the link below, but it's a one-time fee that gives you customizable character assets forever. Let's take a look at the Human Generator add-on for Blender. This is a longer overview, I know, but if you're looking for the highlights, Human Generator is a Blender add-on that creates extremely realistic human characters, and every single part of their body is customizable. If that's what you're looking for, click the link below to purchase and it gives me a couple bucks as a referral. If not, keep watching. Once you purchase the add-on from Blender Market, you have several files to download. The most important is the add-on itself, which is a zip file. Don't unzip it. These HG pack files are the asset packs that come with Human Generator. These are a bunch of included things like hair and clothes and poses and whatnot. Download these to a folder on your computer and remember where you stored them. Go into Blender to install the add-on. Click Edit, Preferences, and choose the Add-ons tab. Click this arrow and choose Install from Disk. Navigate to that zip file we downloaded, select it, and click Install from Disk. Then go to the list of installed add-ons and find Human Generator 3D. Click the arrow to expand the options. Step one, it says, is to read the installation manual, but you can skip that. Step two is to select a folder on your computer to install the Human Generator asset packs. It's recommended to have 2.5 gigabytes available in the space you choose. I'll navigate to the folder I've chosen. Now step three is to choose content packs to install, and we get a good number of these included with the add-on. Hit this button and navigate to that folder where we saved the asset packs, and select all the asset packs we want and choose Select Content Pack Zips. Go down a little and press Install All Content Packs. This takes a second, and then we're brought to the 3D viewport. The options for Human Generator are in the sidebar, so press in to toggle that open if you don't see it. Now we can actually get started making characters. To start, choose male or female, and then click the square button right here. We get to choose from a variety of options based on the content packs we've installed. These are all just basic packs that come with the add-on. With male selected, we get male assets, and obviously with female selected, we would get female assets. I'll choose male, and then I'll choose Enzo for no particular reason. Then click Generate New Human. This took a minute for me, but it was worth it. It generated a pre-rigged base human character at the location of the 3D cursor. So in object mode, we get this guy. I have to keep the privates out of view right now because YouTube doesn't like that. So this is our guy in render preview mode, and thankfully now he has some shorts on. Notice when we have our character selected, we see all these options over here in the sidebar menu. Each of these tabs have a whole bunch of settings to adjust different parts of this model. We have settings for the body, the character's age, the face, height, skin, hair, clothing, pose, and expression. I'm not going to go through every single setting because there are way too many, but click into the body setting and we can change overall characteristics of this character's shape with the muscular, overweight, and skinny settings. Then we can individually increase or decrease the size of each muscle group. The stylized slider sort of exaggerates the settings if we increase it. Then there are settings for the head, torso, legs, and arms, and these are just the settings in that body tab. This back arrow takes us to the main settings, or we can cycle through the setting tabs with these forward and back arrows. By the way, notice the hair disappears. The hair can be toggled on with this hair hidden button, but I did notice that it keeps toggling off whenever we change to a different settings group. The hair takes the most computing power, so you can turn it off while you're working on the rest of the character. Let's jump into skin settings. I'm adding this part because I forgot to mention it. The first step is to click this box and we can scroll through a bunch of pre-configured skin tones. Then below, we can use the settings to fine tune the skin. We have three main settings to get different combinations of skin color. That's tone, redness, and saturation. And just play around with these until we get the precise skin color we're looking for. We can increase normal strength for more noticeable skin details and the roughness multiplier will make the skin more or less, I guess, shiny is the right word. Subsurface scattering can be clicked on here, which adds realism, but takes more computing power. And this is also where underwear can be toggled on and off. Let's go back and look at the hair settings. We click and choose from a number of hairstyles. More can be added if you purchase additional asset packs. We adjust hair color and length settings here as well. Then in the clothing settings, we click and can scroll through some basic clothing options. I really think these are lacking and would recommend getting some other clothing packs if you're interested, but there are a few options to start with right here. In the pose settings, the add-on does come with a lot of poses you can search through. Very good selection and they're really easy to use. Then there's a tab for face expressions. 
Again, click and scroll through different face expressions and they're automatically added to the character. We can always go back and change these settings whenever we want. Nothing is permanent. And then that's really it. The model is already rigged. So you can select the rig and go into pose mode to adjust poses. There are so many settings on these characters, you can make an infinite number of different characters if you want. My only wish really is that it came with more clothing options out of the box. There's also a lot of things you can do with shape keys to animate aspects of the character, but I haven't even played around with those very much. If you click over on this button right here, this is an interesting feature. What we can do is go into our scene and we can add what they call markers. In object mode, press Shift A to add an object and scroll down to the bottom. There's now an option for human generator marker. We can choose a pose for the marker and move it somewhere in the scene. We can keep doing this a few times and move them all around. Then when we're ready, click the generate and then there's a number and then humans button. That number is the number of markers in the scene. This will generate random characters in place of each marker we have in the scene. We can choose to give them randomized clothing, expressions, hair, and more. It takes a minute or so, but it generates random characters in the poses and locations we chose. It's really cool. I hope this helped either teach you how to use Human Generator or helped you with your decision whether or not to buy it. If you do buy it, using the link below to purchase gives me a couple bucks from the creator at no cost to you and it means the world to me. Otherwise, a simple click on the like button would make my day. Thank you, good luck, and stay creative.